What's up guys? Welcome to the Higher Wire Garage and today we are going to build a hot tent. It's going to be a real simple A-frame with a tarp and a stove jack hot tent. Um, I want to build it out of some of the materials that I already have laying around. So I'm going to use four 2x4s and a piece of 10-foot strut. Um, I know everybody has different designs and different material and ways to do it, but I, I figured I'd make a small video of just an easy way to make a hot tent. Um, we're running out of daylight. It's about 30 degrees out here right now, so um, might have to continue this video tomorrow, but uh, let's get as much done as we can today. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have four boards of equal length. Um, these are from Home Depot, so obviously it's uh, more of a cheaper wood and it's probably got bows and dings to it that's been laying in my garage, but it'll do for this project. What we're going to wind up doing is we're going to wind up cutting some basic 30 degree cuts on these so that we can butt them up against the strut, screw them together, and make an easy A-frame. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a chop saw, set up your chop saw. Hopefully you have a chop saw. If you have a regular skill saw, you can do it. You know, if you use your uh, speed square and make your uh, 30 degree marks and everything like that yourself. But I'm going to be using a chop saw. I've set it at 30 degrees, so it makes it nice and easy. We can just pop through the four boards and they'll all be uh, equal. So what I've done here is I've lined up the edge of my board with the beginning part of the blade. So we are directly on the edge of this. This is an eight foot two by four. And ideally it's gonna give us about six and a half feet on a 30 degree cut. So we'll cut this four times and then we'll start setting it up. So now as you can see, you've got all your boards cut at the bottom at 30 degrees. Now this is gonna be the most important part of this build per se. So you have your bottoms cut at 30 degrees. You're gonna cut your tops at a 45 degree. So what you need to make sure you do is if your board's going to be sitting like this, you need to make sure you're flipping it around and cutting from the opposite angle so that both of your cuts are going, as I would like to say, out. Um, you don't want to do it the wrong way, and then you know, your board, you're, you're gonna have your 30 degree cut on the outside, and then there's, there's no point in that. So make sure that you're cutting the right way when you flip these over to cut your 45 degree cut. Also, one thing that's very important is make sure you move, if you're using, if you're using a chop saw, make sure you go from your, 40, from your 30 degree angle to your 45, because if you cut it at 30, it's going to be quite a short tent. Dogs want to help. So next thing you're going to want to do is we've taken the strut and placed it on a set of sawhorses. And what we're going to want to do is I want to set mine to the the tallest height. You're going to want, want to set your height basically to the tippity top like that. What we'll do next is we'll pre-drill a hole through the wood and we're going to pre-drill a slight hole through the steel as well.
So next what I've done is I've got these small little uh, like one by twos that I'm gonna actually use. I'm gonna put them in here so that the screws have a little bit something extra to catch other than just the metal. We're back. It's now morning time again. So let's get started on the rest of this. Okay, so here we are, we have the basic setup, the A-frame starting to get set up. Next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to place a board on the inside of both of these so that these uh, the A-frame arms do not shift left and right. So let's cut a piece for that. And you should have a little something that looks like that. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut a piece of two by four and I'm gonna place it right here to connect these three pieces just to give the, uh, the A-frame a little more rigidity and you know sturdiness because since I used the strut on the top, it actually has a little bit of sway to it because you're only using one screw. So these two by fours can ideally twist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ideally level this out with the bottom, and then I'm gonna make sure everything's center, and I'm just gonna scribe the top to sort of give us what we're looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put two more screws as well into the bottom here so we have four on each of these so it'll really keep this sturdy but I mean we're pretty much together once you put the tarp on um, everything should hold itself together. So now that I got the A-frame in position where I want to do it 
Next thing we're gonna do is put the tarp up. So I went down to Harbor Freight and I got an 11 by 19 and six inch tarp. Got the heavy duty one so that doesn't rip as much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit it over the top to see how it lays out. Um, and then I'm probably gonna, I bought Gorilla Tape to put around the edges to toughen all the edges, edges up. And then we'll probably uh, find a spot where we wanna put the stove jack. We'll get that, we'll bring this inside because it is cold out here, I'll cut it. Um, we'll put the stove jack on, rivet it, uh, put fireproof sealant on there, and then we'll be able to set it back up. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. This is just about set up how I want it. So I tried to get it as tight as I could. What I sort of figured out was it's easier if you put some lengths of pipe. I got these 10 foot sticks of pipe that I put under here because the wood bracing is sort of trying to squeeze itself in when you tighten up the tarp itself. So these um, supports at the bottom will actually sort of spread it out and tighten up the tarp so that you have plenty of space under here which is awesome. So next thing I have to do is try to make a front and a back door. All right, so what I've got is I've actually got some clear uh, plastic, painter's plastic, thick painter's plastic that I'm gonna use. It's six mil, so it's just, you know, a couple mils less than this. But what I'll do is first I'm gonna take some Gorilla Tape. And I'm actually gonna coat the edge right here, going up and down both sides with the Gorilla Tape to sort of strengthen it up. And that will also give me, when I go to take this down or reuse it somewhere else, this will give me, um, you know, like a guide to how I have to set it up and to where it should be, sort of be. And here we go. So what I did was I used some regular painter's plastic on the outside, and it seems to come out pretty nice. So backside's all sealed up, so you can't enter, no air is going to get out. And front side, what I've done is I've added a little 2x4 in front of another piece of plastic in front of this plastic, and then we have a slit and you can enter right through there. And it is toasty in there already. So just having the clear sides should allow us some heat in and keep some heat in like sort of like a greenhouse. And that's about it for the hot tent.
So not too bad. I used most materials that I had here. Um, I think I only spent like 20 bucks on the tarp and I had the duct tape. I had the painter's plastic and all the wood and the strut. So if you have some stuff laying around, even if you try to use some type of like, uh, if you have some long tree limbs on your property, you could probably do the same thing, maybe on a smaller size, depending on what size the tree limbs are. But um, this was a quick little build of a hot tent. Um, I'll be making some more videos of us actually camping in this thing in a little bit. I'm not going to add the stove jack yet because the wood stove that I'm going to build, they didn't have the materials I needed today. So what I'll do is I'll include that in another video. But if you have any questions, pl please feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you with whatever I can answer. That's going to be it today, guys. Peace.